Join me today as we make a strawberry garden flag for the front porch of the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, we need to start making our garden flag by making our blank. And this time we're going to be making our flag shape out of our strip using our heat and bond, and then we'll paint our strawberry and cut it. So what I've got here, like I said, is heat and bond. It's called heat and bond ultra hold. You need a iron on adhesive, iron on paper backed adhesive for this project. Um, this is what I'm using for all of the flags so far anyway. And what it is, it's basically a piece of paper with fabric glue that's heat activated on one side, the paper on the other. I have my piece of paper, my piece of um, white 100% cotton fabric cut two size, which is one inch by three inches. As always, if you miss the size recommendations or anything, that information is always in the blog post, which is always linked in the description box of my video. So we iron it on with a hot iron. I like to use this little craft iron, this little one by Tulip, simply because I don't have to dig out my big iron that I use for sewing. And then also I'm not getting weird things on my good iron. So that's right here. You can you peel off paper backing. It leaves you the shiny heat activated glue. Line up your edges. Don't worry about any threads. And we're going to press it. Follow the directions on your paper backed fusible webbing. I will finish ironing this and getting it stuck together. And then we'll move over to my work tile and go to the next step. All right, this is pressed and ready to go. Don't worry about any threads hanging off at this point. And on this piece of paper, I cut myself a one inch square of just printer paper, a lightweight paper. And I drew half of a strawberry shape. I fold it in half and drew a half strawberry. I just looked online and found a simple, die, a simple line drawing of a strawberry. I will have a photo of my strawberry if you want to copy this one. Feel free, the, there will be a photograph of what this looks like on the blog post. Now I'm going to set this here, center it in my flag, and make sure your folded end is up and you're on the end that's, this is the part we sealed together. And we are going to, and I'm going to make my strawberry a little wider, I'm just using this as a rough, a rough shape. Just tracing around and now I've got my strawberry. Now this line we're going to leave intact. We are going to cut the bottom and I'm using my fabric scissors for this. Um, that way I, I know that I'm going to cut my, my fabric nice and smooth and clean. I won't have any you know weirdness from using dull scissors. These are scissors that are only used for fabric. And you're, you don't have to be perfect. I'm going to Change my shape just a little bit. I wanted a little bit of more of a notch there. There, that'll do. Now I have my paint brushes. I'm going to get out this nice paint brush right here. And I've got just some red craft paint. I've got Apple Barrel in Flag Red. This is some of that paint and brushes that Plaid sent to me a while back to do videos for you guys. And this is the same red paint that we've, we've used so far on our porch stuff. I'm using that line as a guide. Probably should have picked out a slightly smaller brush, but this is okay. And since there's nothing that can get on my brush, I'm just using the paint straight out of the lid. I'll probably go ahead and do that. I'm not concerned about anything getting on my brush from this because there's nothing on here that can get on my brush. So I'm going to let this paint dry. I'm going to even out that edge of my strawberry. Remember that those lines we drew are just a rough guide. If you go outside the lines, it's okay. 
I will let this dry. Then I'll decide if I need a second coat. If I don't need a second coat, I'll flip it over. I'll use what I can see of the strawberry through the fabric to paint the back side red. And when I get both sides of my strawberry shape painted, I'll come back and we will start adding the green tops. And I will wrap my brush in a wet wipe between uses. That way I don't have to stop and clean my brush every time. I want to keep it nice and fresh. And as a bonus, I've got a wet wipe to clean up my mess when I get all done with the red paint. So when this is all finished, I will come back and we can move on to the leaves. All right, our flag is painted on both sides. We have a nice strawberry shape. And I've got a string there that's going to irritate me until I cut it off. So let's take care of that now. All right, I've got two small brushes. I have a very, very, very skinny kind of short one. This is a, does it tell me what it is? It should. I believe this is a round and I don't see the size. Oh, it's a, it's a liner number one. And this one is a filbert number four. And we're going to use both of these. We're going to put leaves and a stem on each side. We're going to do one side at a time. I'm just using some bright green paint. This is the part of the project I find the most difficult to do uh, and the one that I mess up the most often on. So I've got some green. This is on the filbert brush and I'm just going to make a, a green stem. I think the secret to getting this the way I want it is to actually use two brushes. So we've got a nice stem shape. Now I'm just going to make some little lines. I'm going to try and make this come up to a point at the ends. And I might come back and do a second coat. I'm not sure. All right. I'm not talking because I'm, it's, I'm trying to concentrate. Let's try this down just a little further. Same with this one. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So we're gonna let this dry. I'll probably do a second coat on this green. Then when this is all dry on this side, I'll flip the flag over. I'll do the same lines on the other side. And when that paint is dry, I'll come back and we'll put some seeds on our strawberry. All right, now we have our leaves and our stem on both sides. So now I'm gonna add some seeds to my strawberry. And you can use, I'm gonna use yellow paint. I want yellow seeds. I'm going to use this 3D fabric paint, but I'm not going to use it straight from the bottle because no matter how careful you are, you're liable to get really, really big blobs of paint. So I'm going to put some out on my tray, and then I'm going to get a toothpick. It'll still remain slightly 3D, but this way I can have little tiny dots of the yellow and I like how this yellow is, it just makes it look a little bit more like a seed on my flag. So I am going to go through, I'm going to put random dots on this side of my flag, on the strawberry. When these are dry, I'll flip it over, I'll put some on the other side. Let me get you down a little farther so that you can see what I did there. Those seeds are pretty small there. Now I know you can see what I did. A couple more on. But I will finish the seeds on this side. Like I said, let it dry. Do the seeds on the other side, and then I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. We can see how this looks hanging from the flag bracket. Well, here is our strawberry garden flag in its place on the flag bracket on the front porch of the beachside bungalow. I think it turned out really cute. It was fun to do something that was shaped at the bottom this time. That was a fun technique, and I think we'll probably do some more that are shaped in the future months. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you to hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.